Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Toshiba laptop. This one is a Toshiba Tech, yeah, I would say Tecra or Tesra C50-C, otherwise known as a model PS571U. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can speed up the performance on these laptops uh, dramatically by just replacing the mechanical hard drive to a solid state drive. Because these laptops from the manufacturer, they come out with a solid state mechanical drive. These are a lot of platters inside them. They move around and there's a little actuator, actuator that goes up and reads the hard platters. These are really slow and you can upgrade them, replace them with a solid state drive. I'll leave the, some of the good brands in the video description. A cheap brand will be a Kingston or, or a Data. A good brand will be a Samsung brand or Crucial. All right. Well, just remember, once you do a, a hard, drive up, hard drive upgrade, you will not have any operating system on the new drive. So you will need to install your Windows fresh install on the new drive. I made a really short video, how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive. Also, I made a video, how to install it on your Toshiba laptop. I'll leave those links in my video description. I will recommend you guys to do a always fresh install of Windows. It's really simple and really healthy for the new drives. You can go ahead and um, buy yourself an adapter, uh, a SATA adapter, stuff uh, adapter just like this one. So you can connect your hard drive in here, your new hard drive, and connect it to a USB port into your laptop and download that cloning program. I uh, have the one that I use is a Mercurium Reflect and with that program, you can clone your main hard drive to a solid state drive. It will work, but uh, sometimes randomly you get a blue screen of there, some errors you get. It's not a really good option, but it is doable, but I do not recommend them. But if in case you don't want to install or anything, you're scared of installing Windows or you don't want to uh, do everything again, you can clone it if you want to. All right, with all this set, let's go ahead and do this uh, replacement. Remember first, power off the laptop, back up your files, or maybe I should say back up your files, then power off the laptop, then you need opening tools. I'll be using a screwdriver set. I fixed the screwdriver set, and these are made out of S2 class steel bit. These are really good screwdriver set. You're gonna be using a Phillips number one. And for the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and cover. With this tool on hand, we're gonna go ahead and remove the battery, pulling the triggers sideways and sliding back the battery. This laptop was open before it came to me, so they do actually have a four long screws. One of them is right here. The second one is right here. The third and fourth one, I actually don't know. I tried to find out where the long screws goes but um, I have them installed on the sides here. So if you guys can let me know where your long screws uh, are located, I know that for sure that one on beside the battery, the second and third one, the third and fourth ones, let me know if you guys can help me with that. For now, I have the long screws at the back by the batteries. So I remove these four long screws. I'll keep them in one pile. And then we're gonna start removing all the rest of the screws from one corner, doesn't matter which order you start from. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out to do your own upgrade or replace or service, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It'll be a tremendous support and motivation for me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. We remove all the screws. Now we're gonna slide out the DVD drive. Just pull it out. Now we're gonna grab the opening tool and we're gonna stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest, just like that, in there. And all you need to do is just push it back and you wanna see an opening right there. You wanna do the same thing every one or two centimeters, all the way in the front. Go to the corners, to the sides. You wanna do this way. Go all the way in here, all the way to the side, right there. Once you have the front and the sides, and then you simply grab the front end, bring it up and wiggle it around 
just like that, and it will release the back end. All right, once we remove these two uh, bottom cover, we're gonna put it to one side. And down here, we're gonna see the hard drive right in here. So the hard drive is being held down uh, by this adapter right to this connector. So to remove it, pretty much we just have to bring it up because it has a little form to it. So it just push down, there's no screws or anything to it. Now, I don't wanna stress this adapter right in here. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna grab our tweezers and we're gonna lift up this lock right here upward 90 degree and we're going to slide out lift up the jack, uh, flex cable and pull it out in 45 degree upward outside once we remove that and there we have your hard drive this one is a 750 gig uh, with a medium profile hard drive so you can put a little medium profile you don't have to be a slim profile you can put a terabyte two terabyte slow low profile hard drive or medium size hard drive so you can remove that and grab yourself a solid state drive and make sure the adapter matches you can put it the other way around it will not go through so you want to disconnect the adapter put it right through here just like that and then you just want to put it in place down here and put the flex cable right through there in 45 degree angle because the flex cable has a little tiny ear loops on the side so you want to slide it down in 45 degree inside the jack all the way in and then you want to lock it down just close the lock on top this laptop does not have any m.2 slot available the only m.2 has is for Wi-Fi and no, you can't put a hard drive in here. It will not work because the controller. So there is no more space for m.2 and nothing on the other side of the board. So you can either put an SSD or a different hard drive in here, a bigger capacity. But in this case, the client, the hard drive is failed and he wants to put a, a mechanical hard drive in here. So we're going to just place a mechanical hard drive. So if you want, you can put an SSD drive, but depends your budget. So again, we're going to remove this one. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to boot up to the USB boot drive. So we're going to pull that adapter slowly backward. Grab the hard drive, put it right in there. Smack it right in place. Squeeze it right the way down. Bring it in 45 degree right into the jack. Use that little tweezer to help you guide it. There you go. And lock it down. Once you have the hard drive in place, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, bring it over, set it down, squeeze the corner down, the front down, make sure you those big click sounds. And grab your DVD drive, put it right into here, and close it down, and go ahead and put the screws. I would recommend you guys to put the longer screws at the back here, one right by the battery, and the second one I'm going to put it beside it. Because I don't want to risk it and put it where the short screws goes, I might damage the motherboard or the keyboard. So I'm going to put it right where the hinges are. And then the rest of the screws go all over the place, go around and put them on. I'm just going to fast forward this part so I can show you guys how to um, boot up to the USB boot drive. Well, actually, maybe I'll come back and I'll finish up putting up the screws. All right, let me connect the charger. Whenever you want to install the Windows, make sure your charger is connected. You don't want to install it on your, with your battery only. So the charging goes right here. And you can put the battery or no battery, it doesn't matter. So I just want to make the video short. So I'm going to grab my Windows 10 USB boot drive. I'm going to stick it into any of the USB port. I'm going to, might have to go to the BIOS to check them out. So I'm going to press power. I'm going to tap on F12. So it might restart and come back. So once we see Toshiba, we're gonna to keep tapping on F12. So 
So there we go. We got the boot menu. In here we have the boot menu. From the boot menu, it says what you want to, where you want to boot it from. You're gonna choose go down USB memory, and we're gonna press enter. Now it's gonna start booting up from my USB, and it should give me get me to the Windows installation. It's not focusing right there, so I'm gonna keep it in this angle. So right now, be patient, give it like a 30 seconds, and it's gonna start like loading the USB. There we go, I see the uh, tiny dots coming. If you wanna see the proper way of, in, uh, on the step, proper steps of installation, follow any, any of my Windows 10 installation guide, doesn't matter HP or Toshiba, they all have the same procedure. So you can install the Windows without any bloatware installed on your Windows. So there's a welcome and click next and install your system. And that's it. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.